Well, we started nine years ago, uh, and my next door neighbor needed high speed internet out at his office. It was about two miles down the road, um, but he could only get a T1 and satellite. But we could get cable and DSL at our house. So we said, well, how are we going to get broadband from, our, from this location over to your office? And we did about six months worth of research. Uh, we looked into fiber and said, wow, that's awesome, but it's too expensive. We'd have to have right-of-ways. Uh, we looked into a lot of other options, and the best option was, was wireless. So we said, wow, okay, well, if I can do it for you, we can do it for a lot of people. Uh, so we, we kind of came up with our business plan. We didn't even write it down on a napkin. We just kind of pushed some numbers around, and I went in and convinced my wife that it was a good idea to put $36,000, our first large equipment order, uh, on three of our credit cards. It's, it's not about making money, it's not about having the number of employees we have, it's about getting people service. Uh, we figured that, that building a good company will come after we figure out how to get people service. The type of people we serve are, are pretty much anyone who wants internet. Um, we have a hard time coming up with our, what's our niche market? It's anybody who needs internet. Our bread and butter are the people who have no options. In the rural areas, we get a lot of customers. It's typically very easy. They, everybody wants service and, wow, you can get that much bandwidth over wireless. I want your service. This is faster than my brother has in town. Uh, but we find that we're doing such a good job in the rural areas that people want it in town too. Because uh, there's a trend of people dropping their, their TV and dropping the, their dish because they want to do streaming video. Well, okay, that's great, but then they charge me a lot more if I just want to get internet from them, whereas our price is the same no matter what. My goal is to provide, with about 120 miles around St. Louis, and all of Southern Illinois from Lynchfield, Effingham, South, the best wireless service uh, we can. And we don't want to leave any customer behind because it's, when we tell them we can't get service, they don't have a lot of other options. And it, it pains us when we hear people can't get broadband. So I wanted to be a large wireless provider. I've always, always wanted to do that. Uh, so hiring the employees, thinking more like a large company, how do we do it? You know, we started with two towers uh, and now we have 158 towers. Uh, and that's our, our passion and our love is providing people with broadband. We got a local bank here in uh, Swansea, Community First Bank. Uh, they, they saw that we had something good. Uh, they believed in us and they liked what we were doing. So they gave us our first uh, million dollar loan. Uh, and since then, we've been able to hire nine people because of that loan. So it's just, it's just been awesome. The, our, we've been able to keep up with demand a little better. There's still more demand than we can keep up with, but we've been able to, to, to keep up. We've done 36 towers uh, in, the past, um, in the past, I guess it's been about four months. Uh, we did 36 towers, uh, which is absolutely unheard of at least for a WISP. <laughs> you know, maybe in the cellular industry they can do that many because they have all kinds of crews, but uh, we have two tower crews that go out there. You know, it's, it's really, you think of the big companies that, you know, need 20,000 people in a town or, or, or need a, a bigger business case. With our wireless and our goals being that we want to get people broadband, we're willing to say, no, 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 no. we'll take a longer return on investment. We're going to get you broadband because that's what we do. It pains us when we sign up a customer and they're like, oh, I would have signed up for you five years ago if I'd only known. It's like, Really, because your neighbor on both sides have our service, but okay, it's our fault. We need to do a better job of, of getting the word out as to who we are and that we're here, we can provide great service, we can help you. It's kind of the whole perfect model of the American story because we're a small company, been turned down a ton, and now we have a bank that believed in us and you know, we kind of said, sit back, watch what we can do, watch what we can do. And now we've done such a good job, they've come back and said, we like what you did, do it again, do it again. So we'll see what we can keep doing.